Welcome back to the channel. This video is your step-by-step -step guide on how to use Osmosis from how to deposit to actually staking and providing liquidity and obviously unstaking your funds and withdrawing them back to your wallet. Everything that you need to know, you'll find it in this video. Again, you can find all the timestamps in the description of this video if you want to jump to a certain section. But just know that watching throughout the whole video does help me and this channel. Let's get started. To get started, we want to make sure that you come to this page here, which is osmosis.zone. Alternatively, just go to CoinMarketCap and look for Osmosis, and then you can just click on this URL over here. Again, that URL will take you to this page where you can actually then click on Enter the Lab. Once you're here, you'll have to read all the terms and conditions, and obviously, most people don't do that, but I'm just gonna go ahead and proceed. Now that you're here, the first thing that you want to do is to deposit your funds. And just know that the Cosmos blockchain is an interoperable blockchain that uses SDK so that you can build obviously on top of those blockchains. Obviously, that means you can deposit funds from different networks. That's what we're going to be doing also in this video. Before we get started, you need to make sure that you do have your Kepler wallet installed. I already made a video on how to install your Kepler wallet. So the first thing, like we said, we need to deposit our assets. So you can deposit your assets from you know coinbase binance but obviously those uh, exchanges that you're depositing from must be obviously accommodating either the cosmos token or terra network because most of these currencies here you won't be able to find them on a centralized exchange in the previous video i showed you how to deposit cosmos obviously we're gonna go to that as well in this video but we're gonna be using terra luna to deposit usdt in this video it's complex just stay with me so now that you have your wallet here the first thing you want to do is to make sure that you add a specific blockchain to the wallet address if you look here we don't have uh for example terra luna so in order for us to get terra luna to our wallet we need to first connect our wallet so i'm gonna connect that and approve again you know that we don't have terra luna within our wallet over here so the next thing what we want to do is to click on deposit so basically this will request to add the blockchain within the network so i can just bring this over here and you can see that it's requesting to add the chain so i'm gonna approve that i'm gonna go ahead and approve now that we actually added it when we come to our wallet over here and click on the drop down menu and scroll right to the bottom you can see now we do have terra previously we didn't have terra luna over here which means now we can actually bring funds using the terra network alternatively you can use the cosmos blockchain and to do that you just need to click on your kepler wallet and then click on deposit you can see that i do have cosmos selected here on top you'll then have to click or rather uh, scan this qr code or if you want to just copy the wallet address you can just click here to copy the wallet address then you can go to the exchange that does support this network here to actually deposit the funds to this ecosystem but like i said in this case we want to use the terra luna to actually bring ust so when you click on deposit on ust you don't necessarily have to add that to your wallet because you already added the terra luna network you can see here when you click on terra luna it's going to be using the very same you know wallet address so now that we've got that sorted out the next thing what we want to do is to obviously get ust now i'm going to be using binance to actually get ust so i'm going to come to binance over here and basically i'm just going to buy maybe a thousand worth of or rather hundred dollars worth of ust so i'm going to search ust and usdt i'm going to click on that and then i'm going to input the amount that i actually want to spend in this case it's just 100 dollars but i'm going to do 103 dollars just to obviously accommodate the transaction fees then i'm going to go ahead and buy that you can see it's actually is instant because you're buying at the market order now you can see it on our wallet over here the next step will be actually withdrawing those funds the next step is to obviously go ahead and find their wallet address so in that case i'm just going to go ahead and uh, make sure that i actually scan the qr code so I'm going to click on the QR code and actually scan that, which just going to pick up the wallet address. You can see it also picked up that I'm using the Terra network over here, which is something I don't have to do manually. Then the next thing, obviously, I'm just going to select Max and start to withdraw. It's asking me if I want to use the memo, but I want to use it without it. And I'm going to confirm. You can see that it's charging us around about $1.80. 
now the next step is obviously just to verify everything that it is you that is doing the withdrawal then i'm gonna submit and you can see the withdrawal is actually complete now we're just gonna wait a couple of minutes for the funds to actually reflect on our wallet on the other side now i'm gonna move to the wallets that i was actually depositing to so i'm gonna come to the kepler wallets now i'm using a different wallet than the example that i was using earlier on i'm gonna click on the drop down menu i'm gonna come down to terra luna i'm gonna click that now you can see the funds that we just deposited now obviously in order for you to be able to interact with the protocol you need to have a little bit of luna within that very same wallet so that you can obviously be able to pay for those transaction fees you can see that i do have 0 0.01 which i believe is going to be enough for me to do the transaction fees the next step what we want to do is to come to asset now what i want to do is to obviously deposit so i'm going to deposit ust i'm going to click on that and you can see that it picks up the amount that i have within the wallet itself you can see it's picking up the very same amount so what i'm going to do in this case i'm just going to click max basically i'm moving the funds from the wallet and i'm bringing it to the blockchain or to the protocol i'm going to click on deposit so the funds are now within the osmosis network so the next step is obviously deciding what assets do you want to buy in this case i can just come to the trade over here then i'll select ust then i will select another currency that i want to buy to for example if i wanted to trade ust to atom i'll just obviously click on here to swap it around and i'll click on max if i want to buy the entire thing or if i want to use just half of that but i don't want to buy atom so i'm going to click juno for example juno you can see i'm getting about 2.8 juno and i'm going to go ahead and swap that let me see what if i bought osmosis all right i'm just gonna buy osmosis so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and actually swap this you can see that almost everything is like instant everything now was done successfully so now when we actually come to our wallet i did actually have osmosis earlier on you can see that this is the osmosis that i have was 87 now i have about 11 more obviously i do have some staking rewards that i've been getting for staking this asset so basically what we just did we just traded ust for osmosis so the next step will be actually coming to the pool if you want to provide liquidity i already have a liquidity that i provided within these pools so i'm not going to be doing that however i'll still be showing you how to do it if you wanted to do it now if you actually want to provide liquidity you can just click on add liquidity to any liquidity pool that you want to obviously provide liquidity to now from here you can obviously come and remove liquidity if you want to remove liquidity because i already have liquidity then you can just light the amount of percentage that you want to remove from the pool but in this case we want to add liquidity and you can see that we don't have atom here but we do have osmosis so if i click on single pool over here then i click on osmo you can see i can now just add the funds that i just bought uh, to a liquidity pool but in this case because it's a single asset i don't think it's a great idea because this will significantly impact the pool that you're actually providing liquidity to which can lead to impermanent losses for people who are within that pool because remember when you're actually providing liquidity to a liquidity pool those pools are calculated with regards to the ratio of the assets that are within the pool so if you actually wanted to provide liquidity here you'll have to obviously trade or swap tokens so if i click on swap tokens now i can obviously switch this around and obviously do half of that which means i'll take half of that and put it towards atom and obviously keep the rest of the funds here which means i can now provide liquidity using obviously both assets 50 50. so that's how you actually provide liquidity then after you have provided liquidity you'll have to bond your assets when you're bonding your assets you'll see that you'll have lp tokens here then you can click on start earning which means now you can lock up your bonded assets for a specific period of time for example i like to just choose the 14 day period when i actually provided liquidity on my earlier video over here this was on i think 70 
four percent but now you can see that it actually went down to 50 percent so as more and more people provide liquidity this number will obviously go down as the total value locked within those pool increases now when it comes to super fluid staking you'll see that you'll have the ability to take those funds that you just provided to a liquidity pool obviously you'll be just taking half of that you can see that i have about uh, 32 over here that i provided liquidity on my previous video again you can check that video in the description of this video and then obviously we'll then take half of those funds and put them on a super fluid delegation which means you are now earning from providing liquidity and obviously earning from staking as well but using the very same asset but remember when you're providing liquidity you're getting 0.3 percent of the trading fees remember that earlier on we clicked on trade and we actually traded uh, ust for osmo which basically means that on that specific trade we were charged 0.3 percent so basically the people who actually provided liquidity to ust and osmo are getting that 0.3 percent so that's how you actually get paid with regards to providing liquidity to a liquidity pool but what we want to do in this case is not to provide liquidity however to stake our assets because when you're actually staking your funds you are becoming eligible to earn those future potential ad drops within this ecosystem as i've mentioned in our previous videos that when you actually use these tools you'll be able to see which ad drops are coming up in the future and whether or not you are eligible to get those ad drops and if you're not then you can obviously look at the snapshots and obviously provide liquidity or hold those assets the number of assets that are required to hold in your wallet you can see sometimes they'll tell you 20 juno or whatever the case may be you can see this one says atom secret network and luna so in most cases it will be just atom uh, juno and osmosis so basically now what we want to do is to obviously stake to stake you can just click on stake over here if you click on stake it will take you to a staking page however you can still come to your kepler wallet over here and click on stake so if i click on stake it will take me to the very same page and from here then you have to do your research with regards to which stake pool you want to stake with for which specific assets for example here we're just staking osmo but obviously you can stake all these other assets as well so you have to do your research with regards to which stake pool or which validator you want to be staking with but the general rule of thumb is that you shouldn't be staking with a centralized exchange like binance or kraken or whatever the case may be so already here you can see that i'm staking with these two validators here you can either pick either one of them or obviously pick anything from the list over here so once you're happy with that then you click on manage and then from here you want to click on delegate for example if you wanted to unstake your asset you can just click on undelegate so if i click on that it will then give me this option and obviously there is a waiting period in order for you to get those funds back but i don't want to be doing that so i'm going to click on back and click on delegate then i'm just going to delegate everything that we just bought over here so i'm going to click on delegate and then approve that within my wallet now you can see the total amount that i have staked within my wallet even though i have these things or these assets staked with different stake operator it will give me the total amount that i have staked if i actually come to the wallet itself you can see that this is the amount that i do have here and you can see that these are the, the rewards that are coming in you can obviously go and claim these rewards i think every day you get you know these rewards coming in so i can just go ahead and claim this that is how you stake remember to unstake your funds you need to come to the very same page click on manage then you can decide i want to unstake obviously there is that waiting period so that is how you stake your asset if you wanted to unstake your funds you then have to take those funds and then trade them for whatever assets that you can then obviously move or deposit it back to your wallet or to the exchange and actually cash that for us dollars or whatever the case may be and to do that you obviously have to come to your wallet and obviously click on withdraw for example here if you click on withdraw those funds will then be deposited to your wallet once you on your wallet you can then click on send for example if i come to the cosmo hub here if i wanted to send this i can obviously send this to let's say binance for example and then on binance i can then exchange this for us dollar or usdt and actually change that to fiat money which is basically my national uh, based currency and then it could vary from where you are around the world but basically that's how you 
delegate and actually stake your assets and actually undelegate and actually move your funds back to your wallet and move them back to your bank account i hope this video was helpful if it was make sure that you give it a thumbs up and obviously the reason why we're doing this is to obviously earn those passive income on our investment but not only that also to position ourselves to be eligible for you know all the air drops that are coming up within the ecosystem so the next thing that i can do now is to stake these assets that i now do have within the wallet over here so i can click on the guy that i'm actually delegating with and obviously delegate now you want to make sure that you leave some funds for the gas fees so i'm going to click on that and actually do one over here and click on delegate now i'm basically delegating my rewards these are not funds that are coming from my pocket so i'm just gonna go ahead and delegate that obviously i'm just leaving a little bit of funds for those gas fees the next time i want to claim my asset and obviously i'm doing this manually and you may not have the time to do this each and every day and i'm going to show you the tool that you can use to actually set this to run on autopilot so let me go ahead and look for that tool for example if i come down to the website you can see all the assets that are supported now obviously some of them are still running on a test it will say test or live so basically i can now come and click on auto compound you can see i can auto compound osmosis i can auto compound juno for example so i'm gonna click on auto compound on juno i will then have to click on approve i will make a separate video about this i'm just obviously showing you that there are tools that allow you to let this thing run on autopilot you can see here you'll have to then give access to run this on auto compound i'm not gonna do that right now like i said i'm gonna make a separate video on this as you can see this is still running on the beta network so just know that something like this does exist and i'll touch on it in the future if you want to find all the information with the airdrops that are coming up in the future click the video showing up on the screen right now because on that video i go in depth with regards to all the tools and websites that you need in order for you to see what is coming up in the future go ahead and click on that video i'll see you there goodbye peace